So recently, Boeing announced that they were considering a 767X variant. This was mainly proposed to cargo airlines which operate the 767 freighters that would like an upgrade. And that got many thinking, can a 767 re-engine also apply to the passenger variant of 767? Well firstly, let's examine why cargo airlines may be interested in the 767X. Firstly, it burns less fuel which means that the cargo airlines fuel costs will be severely reduced. This allows them to either have a larger profit margin or offer lower and more competitive fares to customers. However, less fuel needed also results in higher cargo payload capabilities as fuel weight is reduced. Hence, airlines can carry heavier payloads over the same range. But why not go with modifying the 787 for cargo missions? After all, the 787 was supposed to succeed the 767 family but add more range, payload, and fuel efficiency. Well, the answer to that is also simple. The 787 is an expensive airplane in comparison to the 767. The list price for 787-8, the cheapest and smallest variant of the 787 family, comes in at around 248.3 million USD while the list price for a new 767 is only 220.3 million USD. Cargo airlines typically choose to buy cheaper aircraft, some that are secondhand and converted to reduce spending on equipment. That is, with the exception of the largest 747-8 freighter, which some airlines are willing to fork out capital for due to its impressive capabilities. Hence, by re-engineering the 767, it will be much cheaper for both Boeing and the airlines as compared to say, modifying the 787 into a freighter version. Furthermore, airlines already flying the 767 will not need to retrain pilots onto a new aircraft type like the 787 even though they are within the Boeing family of aircrafts. So which variant will Boeing then choose to re-engine if they do go ahead with the program? Well, for cargo airlines, Boeing will probably re-engine the 767 with new GENX engines from 787 and upgrade the aerodynamics, specifically the wing. This should allow for at least a 15% reduction in fuel burn. This will in turn allow airlines to carry more payloads or fly further, all with little cost involved thanks to commonality with today's 767, which Boeing is expected to preserve. They may, however, similar to 777X, change the in-flight displays for pilots and install larger ones from 787. This did get many people, including myself, thinking. Could Boeing do the same to the passenger variants of 767? While the production line of the passenger 767 closed, Given that freighters are still in production, Boeing should be able to restart the final assembly line easily. Furthermore, re-engineering the 767 will give Boeing an aircraft perfectly suited for the middle of the market. Boeing has been rumoured to be working on an all-new aircraft, dubbed 797, for a long time now. The 797 will essentially replace both the larger 757 and smaller 767 variants with range and passenger capacity between today's 737 and 787. However, given the financial difficulty Boeing is in, it is unlikely that Boeing will dish out $15 billion anytime soon to launch an all-new aircraft. Hence, being able to offer the 767X as a middle market aircraft would save Boeing the cost for now of developing an all-new aircraft type and airlines will be able to receive this variant quicker. There are rumours that Boeing will likely re-engine the 767-400 variant, the latest variant of the 767 family. However, in my opinion, it seems to make more sense if they re-engine the 767-300ER variant. For one, the 300ER is the most popular of all 767 models. It also has passenger capacity and range more similar to the rumoured 797. The aircraft seats 261 passengers in a two-class layout while flying to a range of 5,980 nautical miles. These numbers are still towards the top end of the middle market segment. However, Boeing could also choose to re-engine the standard 767-300 
and increase its range from today's 3,900 nautical miles. There are, however, some challenges in re-engineering the aircraft. There will probably not be enough ground clearance for the larger GE NX engines directly from 787. Hence, either a smaller version of this engine be developed or Boeing will have to mount the engines higher. It is also possible that they could take the opportunity to modify the center wing box to accommodate higher and larger landing gears. Doing that, they will probably develop an all-new composite wing similar to 787 and 777X. Overall, the 767 is certainly a good middle-of-the-market platform with the right size and range capabilities. Adding new engines and modernizing the aircraft will make a lot of sense not just for cargo airlines but also for passenger airlines. What do you think of the 767X? Do you think it will ever get off the ground? And will a passenger variant really be the perfect middle of the market airliner? Do let me know in the comments below. As ever, thanks for watching till the end of this video and wishing everyone a truly clear sky ahead.